Hello, hello everyone. I'm so sorry that I'm logging in one minute late, but no tenía luz. No tenía luz y ahorita acaba de regresar. Y estaba a punto de conectarme um, desde el teléfono, pero en eso regresó. So, um, esperé a que cargara el internet, the router, and here we are. So, um, it is just so if we have um, our class as regular, right, in the computer. So I'm glad that I can be here with you today. How are you guys? Thank you very much for being on time. I'm so sorry that I was one minute late today. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, excellent. And I do see that we are nine people already. Guys, today we are going to start a very interesting topic. Very, 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 very interesting topic, which is dun, 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 parts of the body. So I have prepared for you, what is this? I have prepared for you some, um, some vocabulary. Parte del vocabulary, ya se los mandé a WhatsApp, right? But, yes. y lo vamos a estar bien. But, awesome, love that. But, también, uh, vamos a hacer una actividad. That we have an activity. Let me show you. Let's see. <laughs> Here we go. We are doing flashcards. We have many flashcards. And if we, for example, click here, we can see the word in Spanish. Podemos ver la palabra en español. Pueden ver esto. Okay, can you see the screen, guys? Yes. Awesome. Perfect. So we have many words related to the body. Y como también tenemos que ver common medical, um, I'm sorry, common medications. Entonces vamos a ver un poco más de vocabulary de lo que se pueden encontrar in real life, en la vida real about this topic, guys. So right now, I do see that we are 13 people, perfect. And, ¿qué les parece esa actividad, guys? Do you think it's gonna be great? ¿Les parece bien que aprendamos ese vocabulary? Amazing. Great, awesome. Excellent. Perfect. Excellent, guys. So, last time, estábamos viendo special occasions. E hicieron ustedes una actividad sobre what you do on special occasions. And we had graduations, Mother's Day, Father's Day, weddings, and anniversary. So, before we start with um, parts of the body, Sé que solo estamos 13 personas ahorita, but let's go ahead and do some examples. Vamos a poner la whiteboard, as you know we do. Y vamos a ver algunos examples de los que ustedes han hecho. Let's see, for example, Ale. Hi, Ale. Hi. How are you? Is that fine, you? I'm good. Is it de la clase de ayer? Yes. No estuve. Oh, I am sorry. That's okay. I'm sorry. No problem. I'm sorry. No, okay. That's okay. That's okay. Remember que si no pueden estar en una clase, siempre están subidas en YouTube. Sí, But no claro. problem, Mark. No problem. That's okay. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, so let's go ahead with Nestor. Hi, Nestor. Uh, hi, DJ. Hi, Mister. How are you? Hi. I thank Excellent. you. 
I'm good as well. And let me ask you, you were in class yesterday, right? Yes. Awesome. Okay, so in that case, can you give me an example of what you do on Mother's Day? Uh, for Mother's Day, we are going to have the picnic eat, eat cake. Excellent, Nestor. For Mother's Day, Nestor is going to have a picnic and eat cake. That's cool. That's nice. Thank you, Nestor. Now, let's see. Let's see, William. William Salazar. Hi, William. Hi, teacher. Uh, How are you? Oh, that's okay. Oh, okay. Thank you for letting me know. No problem. Thank you. No problem. Now, let's see in that case. <laughs> let's see. Lucrecia, were you in class yesterday? Okay. For Father's Day, we are going to eat special food and sing karaoke. Awesome. <laughs> Love that. For Father's Day, we are going to eat special food and sing karaoke. Oh, that's cool. I love karaoke. Thank you so much, Lucrecia. Okay. Now let's see. Let's see. Hi, uh, Jennifer. Hello. Good evening. Hi, Jennifer. Good evening. Were you in class yesterday? Yes, I am. Awesome. awesome. Yes, I did. Awesome. So in that case, can you please give me an example of what you do on a graduation? Yes, for my graduation, I'm going to my favorite restaurant. Excellent. Thank you so much, Jennifer. That is so great. For my graduation, I'm going to my favorite restaurant. Perfect. Ya son todos unos expertos en going to. I can see that. Perfect. Now let's see. Cristian Castro. Hi, Cristian. Were you in class yesterday? Uh, yes, teacher. Awesome. In that case, can you give me an example using anniversaries? Okay, for my sister anniversary, we order food and then we go on vacation. On vacation, perfect, Christian, awesome. For my sister's anniversary, we order food and then we go on vacation. That's awesome, perfect example. Awesome, Christian. And now let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see, can I have Nubia? Hi, teacher. Hi, Nubia. Can you please give me an example of um, a sentence using uh, 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 wedding? Wedding. Yes, please. For my wedding. Um, we meet all the family uh, and go going to uh, we going to meet all the family mm -hmm. and and we going to uh, cook a special dinner awesome perfect thank you so much Nuria for my wedding, uh, we're going to meet all the family. That's awesome. We're going to meet all the family and we're going to cook a special dinner. Now, guys, thank you so much for these examples. Están perfectos esos ejemplos. Excellent. Um, I see that you understand what you can talk about 
sobre special occasions, veo que comprenden sobre qué pueden hablar, las cosas que pueden hacer, and that you have good grammar. That is so important and it's so great. Usando going to y no usando going to, veo que manejan bien las oraciones en el presente y que también manejan going to very well. So that's great. Wow, what happened? Se hizo pequeño. I didn't even know I could do that. Ni siquiera sabía que se podía hacer eso. How did I do that? Ay, wow. Qué cosas de la tecnología, guys. Um, so these are all great examples. Cuando ustedes me escuchan decir, for example, uh, ahora que estamos viendo mucho going to, o cuando ustedes escuchen en una serie, en una canción, or whatever, que alguien dice gonna, entonces gonna va a ser el mismo going to, right? Esto es como una abreviación que se escucha cuando uno habla. And for example, aquí, and we're gonna cook, and we're gonna cook a special dinner. And we are going to cook, or we're going to cook. Es muy común escuchar que alguien dice gonna. So we're gonna cook, I'm gonna go. Uh, Hay una canción que dice, I'm gonna uh, change a lot for, uh, for you. Correct, yes. Ah, pues así. Ah, That's the way it's used. Correct, Nestor. Awesome. Sí, se escucha mucho en las canciones. Si ustedes están escribiendo una carta formal o escribiéndola a su jefe, por supuesto que no le van a poner gonna, vea, le van a poner going to. Porque gonna es bastante informal y casi se usa casi que solo a la hora de hablar, right? But es importante que ustedes lo sepan so that, um, so that you don't get confused, right? Para que no nos confundamos y conozcamos el sonido del gonna. All right, guys. So, before we move on to body parts, quisiera saber. Hay alguien que tenga alguna duda sobre um, special occasions or going to? Tisha. Yeah. ¿Se puede repetir el going to en las oraciones cada vez que se va a hablar de una actividad? You can, but it's not necessary. Sí se puede, pero no es necesario. For example, okay. aquí podríamos decir... Aquí esta oración, for my wedding we're going to meet all the family and we're going to cook a special dinner. Podríamos decir, for my wedding, we are going to meet all the family and cook a special dinner. Y está bien también. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes? En la tercera oración no es necesario que diga, eh, I'm going to go. My favorite restaurant. No es necesario poner el go. Uh, si decimos go, no puedo decir I'm going to go my favorite restaurant, sino que tendríamos que decir I'm going to uh, I'm going to go to my favorite restaurant. Okay. Y pero estamos diciendo lo mismo, right? Son diferentes maneras de expresar. For example, si yo digo Uh, for my graduation, I'm going to my favorite restaurant. Para mi graduación, voy a mi restaurante favorito. O iré a mi restaurante favorito. Y también puedo decir, for my graduation, I'm going to go to my favorite restaurant. Right? Es como alargar un poco más la oración. Ambas son correctas. Both are correct. Both are good. Solo son dos maneras de decir lo mismo. Pero sí, no podemos decir, I'm going to... Go, my favorite restaurant, sino que siempre go to. El go siempre, si vamos a decir un lugar, tenemos que acompañarlo del to. I'm going, uh, I'm going to go to my house. I'm going to go to my school. I'm going to go to church. I'm going to go to the dentist. Siempre acompañado del to. ¿Sí? Ok, thanks. Of course. Ah, both are correct. Así que la que les parezca más. O pueden usar ambas. Any other questions, guys? Uh, 
¿Alguna otra pregunta, guys? Or are we ready to move on to body parts? Ready? Ready. Cool. Perfect. Awesome. All right, guys. So, to begin with body parts, let's see. I have it right here for you. Tenemos right here this image. Now we have the basic words, right? Conocemos las palabras básicas. Como por ejemplo, mm, 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 donde tengo esto, aquí está. Okay, let's see, for example, um, let's see, Cristian Molina, what are eyebrows? Hello. Can um, you repeat, please? Of course, of course. What are eyebrows? ¿Qué son eyebrows? Ojos cafés. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más podría ser, guys? Eyebrows. Cejas. Correct. Eyebrows son las cejas. That's correct. So, eyebrows right here. Some people, también les voy a dar un poco de vocabulario para que hablemos de cada, cada parte del cuerpo, right? So, you can have thin eyebrows or thick eyebrows. Brown eyebrows. Podemos tener cejas delgadas, cejas gruesas, thick. Cejas cafés, brown eyebrows, black eyebrows, whatever, right? Awesome. ¿Y quién me puede decir, please, qué es cheek? Mejilla. Correct. That is cheek. ¿Por qué no me sale esto? Oh, okay. There we go. Cheek, correct. Cheek, mejillas. Cheek. And what is chin? Menton. Correct. This part right here. Chin. Chin. A no confundirse con esta otra palabra que tenemos aquí. Es chin. Y este otro es shin. ¿Qué sería chin? Repeat. Ok. Chin, right here on your face, en la cara. Chin, chin, se ha chin. chin. And then, in our legs, es lo que decimos en español, o bueno, creo que solo aquí en el país. La chimpinilla. La chimpinilla, ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> so that's chin. Correct, yes. Ayuda de algo ser salvadoreño, tener palabras para todo. <laughs> so, you, we have a chin and shin. And I'm sorry, and chin and shin. De la pierna. Hablando de las piernas, talking about the legs. Sabemos, the leg es toda la pierna, right? All of the leg. Vamos a ponerlo aquí. All of the leg. Leg, la pierna. And we have the calf. Calf se llama esta parte de atrás de la pierna, right? Calf. Hello? Hello? Okay. Y tenemos también el muslo, which is the thigh. Thigh. Now, we also have the ankle. ¿Cuál es el ankle, guys? ¿Quién sabe cuál Rubillo. es el ankle? 
tobillo. El, el tobillo, tobillo, ankle. That's correct. ¿Y cuál es el heel? Talón. Correct. So, for example, el talón de Aquiles, right? So that's Aquiles heel. Now, we also have the toes. Esto es algo bien importante porque yo he llegado a escuchar personas que dicen the fingers of your feet, los dedos de los pies. Y the fingers of your feet don't exist. We have fingers and we have toes. Los dedos de los pies siempre van a ser toes. So pongámoslo aquí como un reminder. Toes are for feet. Y fingers are for your hands. Awesome. So toes are for feet and fingers for your hands. Siempre. Now we also have foot. ¿Cuál es la diferencia, guys? Oops, I'm sorry. ¿Cuál es la diferencia, guys, entre feet y foot? Plural y singular. Correct. ¿Cuál es el plural? Feet. Correct. Feet y foot, right? One foot y both of your feet. Ambos de tus pies. Both of your feet. Excellent. Now we also have your head, right? Head. We have the, y en la cabeza, in, in the head, we have the forehead. The forehead. We have your nose. Have lips, ears, the neck, and the shoulders. Los hombros, the shoulders. ¿Quién me puede decir cuáles son los elbows? Los codos. Correct. Those are your elbows. Elbows. And we have forearms. Now, aquí podemos ver arm. Toda la longitud del brazo, right? Todo el brazo, arm. Y el antebrazo, forearm. Forearm. And the hand. Mano. Correct. ¿Quién me puede decir cuáles son las hips? O oh, es a hip. Caderas. Correct. Es como la canción de Shakira, right? Like my hips don't lie. So that. Cadera. Y che, And, hay una, en las dos imágenes, perdón. Yeah. Eh, donde dice. Bueno, una imagen, en la segunda imagen está señalando lips, pero en la otra está señalando como los labios, pero dice mouth. Mouth, correct. ¿Qué es mouth, guys? Boca. Boca. Correct. ¿Y lips? Labios. Correct. Esa es Labios. la diferencia. Mouth, toda la boca, right? That includes your teeth, los dientes, your tongue, la lengua, your gums. Gums se llaman las... Um, las encías, gum. Y lips solo son los labios. Lips. ¿Sí? Ok. Awesome. We also have your eyes. Mine don't work. Yo no funciona muy bien, pero... We have eyes. Now, guys, alguien sabe... ¿Cómo se dicen las fosas nasales? No. No? Mm -hmm. Okay, so in your nose, in your nose, you have nostrils. 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 Las fosas nasales. Nostrils. In your nose, you have nostrils, and you have two, two nostrils. Now, in your ear, en el oído, tenemos nuestro tímpano. And that is called the eardrum. 
el tímpano se llama el eardrum. Excellent. We have the neck, right? The neck, ¿qué es el neck? Cuello. Correct, I say oh, and the neck. So, in the neck. Where and we also have the... Nuca, which is the nape, or la parte de atrás del cuello, right? Nape. The nape. Nape. Now we have our shoulders, right? And uh, ya vimos shin, vimos ankles, heels, fingers, fingers, y toes for the for the um. For the feet, we have our thumb, como cuando vemos en Facebook, thumbs up, right? Thumb, los pulgares, right? Y este dedo, que es el índice, so that is the index, index finger. Index, index finger. This is the middle finger, you see. Now in our hand, we have our hand, we have fingers, thumb, index finger, and we have the palm, the palm of our hand. And we also have the wrist. This is the wrist. ¿Cuál es la, the wrist, guys? Muñeca. This Correct. This is the wrist. La muñeca. The wrist. Excellent. Now, ¿verdad que esto se los mandé a WhatsApp? The part of the body, estas dos imágenes. Yes. Yeah. Awesome, perfect. Excellent. Let me just check something real quick. Yes, okay, no problem. All right, guys. Now, I also have another image. Tengo otra imagen también para ustedes. Is it okay if we move on to another image? ¿Podemos pasar a otra imagen? Yes. Yes. Awesome. Cool. So let's clear this right here. And let's go ahead and move to another image, which is this one. More vocabulary, right? Ya vimos. Ahorita aquí ya no están señaladas. So I'm going to see if you were paying attention. Pero primero vamos a ver qué palabras no conocemos de aquí. For example, ¿Quién me puede decir qué es jaw? Jaw. No idea? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So jaw is the mandibula. Correct. That is the jaw. Mandibula. Perfect. Now, let's see, si yo pregunto, um, let's see, for example, Marlene. Hi, Marlene. Hello. Hi. Hi. What is ankle? Ankle. Uh, is, um, uh, tobillo. Correct. That is the ankle. Perfect. And if I asked, let's see, if I asked Ale. What is, uh, 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 let's see, what is cheek? Cheek. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Cheek. cheek. Recordemos, mejilla. Ah. Okay. Correct. Perfect. Now, and if I ask Marta, hi, Marta, what is chin? Menton. Correct. Perfect. And let's see if I ask Rocio, what are eyebrows or eyebrow? Hello? She disappeared. Okay, no problem. And if I ask Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. 
No. Es el tobillo. No. Tejas. Eyebrows. Tejas. That's Tejas. correct. ¿Qué es tobillo, guys? ¿Cuál es el tobillo? Ankle. 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 Correct. Perfect. And let's see if I ask Benny, what is forehead? Oh, preguntamos en general. All right. Let's ask just in general. ¿Qué es forehead, guys? Frente. Frente. Correct. Perfect. And what is hip? Oh. Cadera. Cadera. Correct. Perfect. And what is mouth? Boca. 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 Perfect. Boca. And what is neck? Boca. Perfect. And what is a nostril? Cosa nasal. Perfect. Cosa nasal. Awesome. Perfect. And what is... Oh my God. Permita. Van a matar. Bueno, igual ya salió. Whatever. Um, let's see. We're all grown up here. Um, what is a shoulder? Or what are shoulders? Hombros. Hombros. Perfect. And what is thumb? Pulgar. Perfect. Awesome. All right, guys. So now, let's see. Vamos for YouTube purposes. Vamos a corregir esto, okay? No problem. All right, let's continue. We're all grown up here. No problem. All right. Now, ya vimos que son arms, right? Arms. Brazos. That's correct. Estos es arms. Y el forearm, que vimos aquí, forearm, son estos, correct, que sería armpit, que sería armpit. Axila, correct, axila, those are the armpit. Now, we also have the chest, right? The chest. Todo el torso, right? The chest. Right here. Now, we also have earlobes. ¿Alguien sabe cuál es el earlobe? El lóbulo de la oreja. La oreja. Correct. The lobe of the lower they have this right here. That is the earlobe. Que dijimos que eran los elbows? Codos. Codos. Codos, correct. Awesome. Now we have eyebrows and we also have eyelashes. ¿Cuáles son las eyelashes? Pestañas. Pestañas. Perfect. Awesome. And we have eyelids. ¿Cuáles son las eyelids? Parpados. Correct. And we have the face, right? The entirety of your face. Toda la cara. Face. Fingers. Yeah. Gums. We also have knuckles. Knuckles. This right here. Nudillos. That's correct. Those are knuckles. And we have knees. What are knees? Correct. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Have lips and legs. We have mustaches. ¿Cuáles son los mustaches? Perfect. Now we have the palm of the hand, the pinky. Este es el pinky. El meñique. And in your eyes, in your eyes, you have pupils. What are pupils? Pupila. 
correct. Pupils. And on your head, you have the scalp, where the hair comes from. De donde sale el pelo, that's the scalp. El cuero cabelludo. Scalp. And boys, what we all do, pero yeah, más que todo se lo dejan los hombres, se le dejan las sideburns. Yeah. Sideburns. Yeah. Correct. Las patillas. Sideburns. Now, ya vimos que thigh es el muslo de las piernas. Y throat. This is the throat. This is the throat. Garganta. Porque cuello es neck. Neck. Correct. Excellent. And in your mouth, you have your tongue. And teeth, or si es uno, tooth, right? Or teeth. And then in your chest, when your chest ends, you have the waist. What's the waist? Cintura. Correct, cintura, perfect. And wrist? Muñeca. Muñeca. Correct. That's wrist. Perfect. Awesome. All right, guys. Hay alguna palabra aquí que no les haya quedado clara? What it is or la pronunciation? Which one? Throat. Throat. Okay, so that is throat. Throat. What is? La garganta. Okay. Perfect. So in your neck, you have your throat, right? Okay. Excellent. What is heel? Heel. ¿Qué dijimos que era heel, guys? Talón del pie. Correct. Now, estas dos palabras se pronuncian igual. Heel y heel. Solo intentemos no confundirnos. Heel es para el talón del pie y heel es de sanar o curar. Right? Heel. Escuchar la segunda palabra que dijo que era. Heel, esto es el talón del pie. This is... No, perdón, del, del, de todo el vocabulario. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, arch. Okay, so the arch. Les voy a mostrar qué es el arch, porque este, la verdad que ni la sé en cuál es en español. So, the arch. Arch. Here we go. Obviously, the word arch is el arco, right? So, that's an arch. But, um, for example, um, han visto que algunos niños les dan tratamiento porque no tienen arch of the feet. Son planos. Mm -hmm. So, uh, that is the arch. El marco o cuadro. Arco, arco del arco. pie. Yeah, la curva del pie. That is the arch. Okay, thank you. Of course. All right, guys. So. What we have next are is some vocabulary about real life, right? Cosas de la vida real que ustedes se pueden encontrar o que, pues, considero que les puede llegar a servir. So let's see right here. We have our vocabulary right here. Can you see the screen? Yes. Awesome. So. Ignoremos la primera palabra para no confundirnos, porque esta sí es otra cosa más rebuscada. Pero, um, what is a nurse, guys? What is a nurse? Enfermera. Correct. That's a nurse, una enfermera, right? What's an ambulance? Ambulancia. Ambulancia. Correct. Excellent. Now, an amount es un, una cantidad, right? Amount. 
for example, if you go to the hospital, si van al hospital, uh, you may hear, cuenta. okay, yes, the amount is going to be, el total va a ser, o la cuenta va a ser this, or the amount to pay, etc. Now, when you have to go to the doctor, you have to make an appointment to go to the doctor. ¿Qué sería appointment? Cita. Una cita. Una cita. cita médica. Correct. That's an appointment. So you, if you want to go to the doctor, you have to make an appointment. Correct. Now we have baby formula. Yes, that's easy, right? It's the milk powder for the baby. Correct. But it's a birth certificate. Certificado de nacimiento. Correct. Certificado o partida, right? De nacimiento. Mm. Perfect. Now, let's see, guys. We have shots. ¿Qué sería un booster shot o un shot? No, son shots de tomar, vea. ¿Disparo? No. ¿O inyección? Correct. Correct. That's a shot. Or an injection, right? Or shot. Comúnmente se les dice shots. Los booster shots son, por ejemplo, cuando tenemos un bebecito, we have a new baby, hay que irle a poner las vacunas de refuerzo, right? So those are booster shots. Vacunas de refuerzo. Awesome. Now. Brand name medication is, for example, um, let's see, Tylenol, Panadol, right? No es el nombre del medicamento, but it is the generic name. Es el nombre genérico. So that is brand name medication. Tenemos breathing. ¿Qué es breathing? Como un respirador. Hmm. What else? Okay, so breathing is respirar. Es el acto de respirar, breathing. I'm breathing right now. Estoy respirando, I'm breathing. Yes? Perfect. Now let's see. Let's see. Rita. Hi, Rita. Hi. Hi, Rita. How would you say this word? ¿Cómo dirían esta palabra? Chest. Correct. And what's chest? I don't know. All right. No problem. So chest is el pecho. Todo el, o el torso, el pecho. Yeah? Chest. Okay. Perfect. Now let's see the next word. Now let's see. Let's see. Lucrecia. Hi, Lucrecia. How would you say this word? ¿Cómo diría esta palabra? Or these words? Chicken pox. Correct. And do you know what chicken pox is? No. <laughs> That's okay. ¿Alguien sabe qué es chicken pox? Como caldo de pollo. Bella. No. ¿Cómo? Una enfermedad. Varicela. Correct. Es varicela. Chicken pox. Varicela. Correct. Excellent. ¿Quién me dijo? Néstor, ¿verdad? Yeah. Awesome. Yes. Varicela. Now, es a no clinic, right? Clinic? Clinica. Clinica. Correct. Cough. Let's see. Veronica, do you know what cough is? I don't know. That's okay. No problem. I guess I have a kiss call. Correct. Dos. Perfect. Now let's see. 
Mm -mm -mm, no. mm -mm -mm. Okay, this one. Delivery. Now, puede que conozcamos delivery de que nos traen comida, right? Delivery. Pero también se llama delivery a algo más. ¿Alguien sabe? No? No. All right. So when you're going to have a baby, you're going to deliver the baby. Como dar a luz. Correct. That is correct. So that is the delivery of the baby. Pero no sería la palabra así, dar a luz. O sea... Bring to light. Sí. No, no. Decimos delivery of the baby. <laughs> or labor. So labor, when a woman is in labor, cuando está en trabajo de parto, is that she has all this pain and the contractions, right? Las que ya tengan hijos, pues ya saben. And then when you actually have the baby, that's the delivery. So you go through labor and delivery. Excellent. Now, how would you say this word? Yeah, mm -hmm. How well? Como, ¿qué otra manera? Oh. All right, so la diabetes, in English, we call it diabetes, diabetes. Diabetes. Diabetes, that's correct, diabetes. Now we have, esto en español, todos lo hemos pasado. Do you know how to say that word? All right, so if you ate something that didn't sit well with your stomach, comimos algo que no nos cayó bien en el mm -hmm. estómago, then you may get diarrhea. 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 Correct. Y hablando un poco sobre las common medications, los medicamentos comunes, right? If you have diarrhea, maybe you may take some Pepto-Bismol. This is Pepto-Bismol, right? Pepto-Bismol. Now, how much of that you should take? That's the dosage. ¿Qué sería dosage? Dosis. Correct. Perfect. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Dosage. 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 Perfect. Dosage. Now, if you're sick, you may feel down, you may feel weak. Si ustedes dicen, I feel down, me siento cansado, right? Me siento pesado, me siento mal. I feel down. Now, esta no... Now let's see, William, how would you say this word? Um, emergency. Correct. That's an emergency. You can go to the emergency room, right? La sala de emergencias. Or the ER for the initials, ER. The emergency room, ER. No. All right, this one's interesting porque nada que ver con el español, right? So la rubeola, right? That is German missiles. Y esta palabra, measles, it is pronounced missiles. Missiles, I think, missiles. Awesome. Now, let's see. Briselda, how would you say this word? Mm 
Heart. Heart, correct. And what is heart? Corazón. Correct. That is the heart. Entonces, ¿qué es un heart attack? Infarto. Infarto. Oh, infarto. Correct. Heart attack. Now, uh, maybe you have experienced that you have high blood pressure. ¿Alguien sabe qué es high blood pressure? Presión arterial alta. Correct. La presión arterial, right? Presión arterial alta. Correct. Okay. In Spanish, we may have heard it as la UCI. Yeah. La UCI, right? So in English, we call it the ICU. Al revés. The ICU. Now let's see. If you get a mosquito bite, if you get a mosquito bite, it itches. Right? Itching. Yeah? Una picada sería. Pica. Mm, una pica, picazón. Alergia. Picazón. Alergia, allergy. Como alergia, no. Ah, no, como... Crush, no es lo mismo, no. No, el itching es como la acción de que tengamos picor, right? Mm. Itch, yeah. Itchy, me pica. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Itching. Now, let's see. Oh. All right, this one's an interesting one. Este es súper interesante. What do you think is mumps? Mumps. Paperas. Correct. Paperas. Peras, when you have the swelling of, because of this illness, right? So you get mumps. Swelling, inflammation, swelling. Swelling, inflammation. Now, you have the nape, right? You may go to, we also have different types of doctors. Let's see, for example, do you know what we call, ahorita this is a neurologist, right? The neurologist. ¿Cómo le llamarían al doctor del corazón? In English. Cardiologist. Correct, cardiologist. Cardiologist, correct. Now, um, if you um, sit down in a bad position, si se sientan en una mala posición, you may experience numbness in your legs. Puede que sientan adormecimiento en las piernas, numbness. What do you think is this word? How would you say this word, um, Christian Castro? Uh, obstetrician. Correct, excellent, obstetrician. And what is an obstetrician? Who knows? Uh, I don't know. Obstetrician. Okay. Correct. It's a obstetra, right? Obstetra. Perfect. Now, the OTC or over-the-counter medication, los medicamentos que son over-the-counter, son esos medicamentos uh, that you can go to the supermarket, to the gas station, to the pharmacy and just pick it up without a prescription. Prescription, receta. Prescription. Right? Received, 
no es receta. Receipt, ¿qué es receipt, guys? What is receipt, guys? Receipt. Yeah. For example, you go out to eat and they give you the receipt. La factura, right? The receipt. So if we want to talk about the prescription, un doctor nos da una prescription so that we can go and get the medication. La receta, right? Pero hay medicamentos, for example, like Panadol and whatever, that you can just grab, right? Los podemos solo comprar sin receta. So those are over the counter. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So who knows what is pass out or when someone passes out? El alta. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see where you're going. I see where you're going. ¿Quién da más? ¿Quién da más? ¿Quién da más? El alta. Mayarse. Correct. Desmayarse. If you pass out, te desmayas. He passed out. Se desmayó. Now, si queremos decir que alguien le dieron el alta, for example, mm -hmm. si yo quiero decir um, that a él le dieron el alta, he was discharged. Se le dio de alta. He was discharged. 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 Correct. Okay. Some, so some medications may have, how would you say this word? Um, mm -mm -mm, Nestor, how would you say this word? Hello? No, I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's okay. How would you say this word, Ale? Aspectos. In English, how would you say ah, this word? Side effect. Correct, side effects. Yes, correct. Son los efectos secundarios, right? Some medications have side effects. Effect. Now, sabemos que un infarto, it's a heart attack, and... You may also experience a stroke. Un stroke es un derrame. That's a stroke. Puede ser cerebral, facial, etc. So that is a stroke. Stroke. You have tuberculosis, right? La tuberculosis. En inglés le decimos tuberculosis. Tetano. Tetanus, tetanus. Mm -mm -mm. Now, how would you say this word? Um, let's see, Rocio, how would you say this word? Vomiting. Correct. Vomiting or vomiting. Vomiting. Perfect. All right, guys. So uh, these are flashcards que tienen las palabras en español igual en la parte de atrás. Quisieran que les enviara este link para que practicaran Please. ustedes. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Perfect. Okay. Se los voy a mandar en otro momento. Se los voy a mandar hoy, pero más tarde. All right. Would that be okay? Okay. Excellent. Perfect. Awesome. And in this page, uh, no les puedo mostrar toda la page por, por razones de YouTube, but uh, on that page, you um, les van a pedir que creen una cuenta and you may find mucho más vocabulario. All right, guys. Okay. So it Thank is you. 9 p.m. 
So uh, I will have to let you go, but we will see each other tomorrow. Vamos a seguir viendo un poco más de medications y vamos a comenzar. Ya hemos comenzado con esto. Section two. Remember to work on the platform. And thank you for joining the class today, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, guys. Good night.